a leader's doorway. The four keys to protect the harmony of your open door policy. Now, I'm honored to speak to so many leaders that say they have an open door policy. And when that's the case, one of three things is happening. One, no one stopping by your doorway. Two, everyone stopping by your doorway. Or three, create harmony and lead your doorway. So let's go back to option one. Option one, no one comes. You're a leader and you have an open door policy, but no one's coming. I suggest that you, we, get curious about why that's the case. To believe that everyone in your organization is operating at their 100% clarity and effectiveness is a farce. So they're not coming to your office for a reason. Maybe they don't trust. Maybe there's not a connection there. Maybe they don't believe they can. Maybe there's a gatekeeper issue. Whatever it is, get curious and find out what that is so you can enhance your leadership and work-life harmony and that of those on your team and the organization. Option two, and this is what most of us experience. Everyone is stopping by your office. Pre-COVID, people would knock on your door for a five-second question, a one-minute question, and it turns into an hour. Maybe you like them and initially it's pleasurable, you're chit-chatting and having conversation and now an hour's passed. Maybe you don't enjoy them so much and neither do they enjoy you and now it's gripes and concerns and problems. This happens two or three more times and there's half your day. Now you're taking work home, your work-life harmony is destroyed and therefore the, the leadership reputation that you want for your organization. Now with people returning to the office, the excitement of seeing people again, stopping by your office and the office of others to say hello, to catch up, to chit chat. The same people that had to wait for a response for a scheduled Zoom call or email now can lollygag down your office, knock on your door and invade on your time and your leadership. So what to do? Key number one is to time frame the experience. Inevitably, someone's going to knock on your door with what they consider an emergency. First things first, clear up and define what constitutes an emergency. And time frame it. Yeah, sure, I have time for you. I have about five or ten minutes and I really need to get back to this. Set a preface statement for your time. So when that time comes... Hey, I really do need to get back to this. If you have further questions, email me or house Thursday at two o'clock or Monday at three o'clock. Offer those two dates that I share. And now they have to exhibit great leadership to show up at that time if it's really an emergency. So time frame. Number two, the time frame is not working. Or it's working, but you still have 20 people lined up at your door for five to 10 minute slots. That's not allowing you to be an effective leader. So have a meeting. The second part is the meeting. Key number two is the meeting. And this is us, you as a leader, meeting with your boss, your supervisor, your superior, and saying, hey, this is the issue that I'm experiencing. And remember, as you would want your people to do with you and for you, please accompany your problem with a suggested solution. So, hi, boss, this is the issue that I'm having. People are showing up at my office with all of these issues. I can't get my job done. This is what I'm planning to do about it. Whatever that is for you. What do you like about it? And what would you fine tune? This way, your higher ups understand what's going on, number one. Number two, understand that you have a solution that they agree with. And three, it protects you and your leadership when an unhappy or unsatisfied employee goes over your head to complain to, about you to your boss. And your boss now gets to say, hey, we had that conversation. I'm in agreement with what they're doing. You need to talk with them. Schedule your time or whatever the agreement was. The meeting. Key number three, your people. Now that you have got the green light and a solution that you will allow to evolve as needed. You have the green light, share it with your people. Share that things are going to look different. 
share why they're going to look different and how it's going to benefit you and your time as a leader, but also theirs and their time as a leader moving forward on your team and throughout the organization. So preface that things are going to look different. Here's the time frame or here's what we're going to do. The second part about addressing your people is an understanding, you getting an understanding of why they have so many questions or are unclear about the job that they are assigned to do. What makes them continuously come to you in your office? Is it because they can and this has been how it's been? Is it because they are incompetent in their skill set, which means you may have to train and show or bring in trainers or consultants to show. Maybe it's a communication breakdown. It's a process issue, so address that process. So when we get to the third key, your people, it's not simply about shoving your process and protocol down their throat. It's understanding why it's an issue in the first place. Is it communication? Is it process? Is it incompetence? And I mean that in the best, and real definition of the word. Lastly, key number four is follow through. Whatever it is that you came up with, be sure that you are consistent with it and allow that process to evolve as necessary. Follow through. You start it because it started or you started on a Monday or you get through a quarter and do not do this consistently. You might as well get the ticker tape back at your door and the line wrapped around the corner to restart what you were attempting to stop. Follow through as a leader is everything. Guys, those are the four keys. Time frame. Have the meeting with your supervisor. Meet with your people to explain and understand. And then lastly, be sure that you're consistent with your follow through. I do not promise that this will change everything overnight. What I do say is that over time, people will get the expectation. And when you hire new people, new hires, new promotions, they are going to walk into a culture that is set just the way you desire. So guys, that is a leader's doorway. I hope that it resonated with you. And I look forward to being of continued value and impact for you, your organization, your leaders and employees. You want to find out more about me, my speaking engagements, trainings, books, masterclass. Click You Evolving Now up above or down below. You Evolving Now. Y-O-U EvolvingNow.com. And I look forward to moving forward. Guys, have a great day. And until next time, enjoy your evolution.